you've always been asked to take your child for an annual eye checkup right but what actually happens at a hospital when you take your child there what is the procedure that is followed to ensure that a full complete examination is done for your child's eyes let's talk about that today hi i'm dr maitri and i work as a pediatric ophthalmologist at narayan netralaya so when whenever we see children in our opd there's a preliminary test done on a machine to determine whether the child could have a power or not after which your child is made to read letters or numbers or symbols on a computerized screen like this to know how much their vision could actually be once the vision check is done next would be to try out different kinds of lens powers on your child's eyes to know how much of the power your child actually has to be able to see clearly once that is done the optometrist will then determine whether there's any other issue with your child's eyes whether there's any redness or allergies or a squint if they feel that there is a squint or any other issues then the ophthalmologist will be seeing you first where a certain thing called a cover test will be done for your child to assess for squint at the same time this machine will be used to assess whether there's any redness or allergies or infections in your child's eye if none of that is there then the optometrist would directly put these kind of drops to dilate the pupil of your child's eye now why is dilatation done done for two reasons one it allows us to examine the retina that is behind the pupil and when the pupil is dilated we'll be able to see it easily number 2 it also relaxes certain muscles inside the eye which allows us to determine the power absolutely correctly once the dilatation process is complete you will be sent across to the optometrist or done a machine test by which we can determine the power again and then your doctor will see you with this instrument or with this machine to see the retina of the eye with certain lenses kept in place right once that is done then your doctor will explain to you uh, if there's any problem and give you medications or glasses or any kinds of exercises that are required if there is no issue of course you'd have to regularly or periodically follow up with your doctor if in case your child has myopia or minus number or what we call short sightedness there are chances that the myopia goes on progressing this happens as your child grows older till they are at least 18 years old specifically because the length of the eye goes on becoming longer there are specific treatments uh, for that to prevent the rate of progression or to reduce the rate of progression of which there are some eye drops there could be specialized contact lenses or specialized kind of defocus spectacles that we prescribe but how do we know what treatment we can offer to your child individually we will need to test them for certain parameters and for that we have the myopia clinic in the myopia clinic your child not only undergoes the entire general examination that you just heard now but also certain other tests that come along uh, with it so like the myopia master which tells you the length of your eye as well as the curvature of the front portion of the eye called the cornea there's another machine called the peripheral refractor this we use to determine the refraction or the change in the power in different areas of the retina as opposed to the center because we have many proven scientific reasons to believe that due to the defocus that happens on the retinal areas the power can keep changing so our idea here is to determine whether your child has a particular amount of defocus by using the peripheral refraction method and thereby giving correct kind of spectacles or contact lenses for that another test we do is just like how i said we see the retina with a certain machine and lenses we also document the retinal picture with a fundus photography this photo will be yours to keep and so that you understand how your child's retina is at that point of time and if there are any changes because of the weakening of the retina as your child grows older and as the eyeball grows longer we can identify it at a much earlier stage and treat it at a much earlier stage with these things kept in mind we will cater to the treatment of the progression of myopia in your child and determine whether your child can use eye drops contact lenses or specific kind of glasses to prevent it from increasing and of course 
lifestyle measures also will be explained to you in detail by your doctor and your optometrist so that you understand what you and your child can do to prevent the further progression of myopia. I hope this helps you understand what exactly would happen in a pediatric ophthalmology setup in a hospital. Do take your child for an annual exam at your nearest eye doctor. Thank you.